Hey YouTube, I'm back. So while I'm taking my glasses off, I'm gonna be. This is the only WWE video, and I wanted to come and talk about Corey Graves. Um, I have done my research on Corey Graves, so let's get started. As y'all know, Corey Graves is on the Raw and SmackDown Ring Announce team. Now, to me. I have this to say, and I'm going to say it. And one of my uncles is one a huge fan of Corey Graves, but I'm not that much of a fan of him because how can Vince McMahon just go by and let him get away with things and snarky comments about certain wrestlers? All right. I'm going to get to those comments in just a moment. Okay. To me, when it comes to Monday Night Raw, Michael Cole is that, it's the older person at the table. So you will say he is the senior commentator. He learned his lesson with JR and Jerry the King Lawler. So he's now the senior, you know, senior commentator. All right. To me, Corey Grace thinks he is this top guy. He thinks he's over the um, announced team. Um, he's not. And to me, um, I'm going to bring Brian Saxon up in later in the video. So I'm going to do him at a later date. So, yeah, you look up for this. But this is just on Corey Graves. And to me, okay, I don't get how he started. So, if you don't know, Corey Graves first came to WWE as a wrestler on NXT. While he was on NXT, to have him end up commentary, doing commentary, commentating also on NXT was he had to re hang up his wrestling shoes. Why? He had too many concussions. You get too many concussions, they will do this. They will sideline and find something else for you to do. Um, he must have been good on the mic, so they just thought, okay, let's put him on the commentary team. To me, putting him on the commentary team was the worst thing they could do. He just could have just should have been a backstage interviewer. That spot should have went to more than to Renee Young. And I'll do her at a later date as well. Now, the reason I say this, to say, to say that, to say this, the reason I don't truly care for Corey Graves, he went at certain superstars. He played favorites. He played favorites to certain superstars. When it's certain other superstars, he's negative and putting them down. I know the show is scripted and everything, but he should be biased. So let's so let's go down some comments who he has made comments about. Now, my uncle just is here. I'm not gonna put him on t on 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 the video. He don't like that. But he is a big fan of Corey Graves. He don't believe these comments. So if you don't know, I feel like Corey Graves do not care for Roman Reigns. He always say these nasty, vindictive. He like going. He he always saying these nasty, vindictive, snarky comments and stuff. Roman Reigns will beat you to another concussion, okay? So, my thing is, you don't talk about Roman Reigns. Roman Reigns is one of the top dogs in the company. So, how, why, I don't get why you all of a sudden want to diss him. Moving right along. Also, we staying on Raw. Okay. Corey Graves, I don't know what his deal is. But I'm telling y'all when, when, okay, when, um, oh, Lord, give me a minute, y'all. He won't dare cross Bobby Lashley or Braun Strowman. 
They, he knows they will beat his butt to smithereens. Um, yeah, so, I mean, why not? You don't want to cross the two biggest guys there. Okay, he has called Matt Hardy delistic, psycho, called him a psychopath. Oh, but this psychopath is your current raw champion is one half of the Raw Tag Team Champions oh, with Bray Wyatt. So then when it gets to when it gets to the Divas, he's trying to oh, eat, oh let's just say uh, drink the Kool-Aid of Ruby Riot, Sarah Logan, and Liv Morgan. Nah, boo-boo. Uh-uh. No, 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 no. No, and then trying to diss Sasha Banks. To me, he goes a little too far. Now, I don't get why he's getting two. I don't know if he's getting one check, one whole check, or two checks. One for Raw, one for SmackDown. So let's start with SmackDown. Okay. He, okay, he, okay, he don't, it's, it's, I don't, like I'm saying, it's certain people he diss. So, all of a sudden, he has started to diss Becky Lynch, Charlotte Flair. I have noticed he's been dissing the Usos. Well, I'm going to get on that in a minute. And Naomi and stuff. But he going to praise gender Mahal. No, you don't do that. And I'm going to say this. How can you, you like got a lot of things to say about AJ Styles, say nice things about AJ Styles, but then you're going to praise Sinsuke Nakamura? I don't think so. But to me, Corey Graves, when I say Corey Graves go too far, he's not, you are a commentator, a wrestling journalist. That's what you are. And you're not being biased. I did this last year when I read Wendy Williams. I knew, you know what? Knew a new butt. Often to real Corey Grace. What gives you the right to say, oh, nobody can beat Brock Lesnar? It might be somebody can beat Brock Lesnar. They just haven't found the person just yet. Okay, what gives you the right? To bash the Usos. Let me just say this. Corey Gray, since the Usos have been winning championships on Raw and on SmackDown, has always, has always did the following. Has always dissed the Usos in, you know, in a shape or form. Now, when it comes to somebody get who, like I say, somebody's got to leave, but somebody's got to come in. They're going to bring in Booker T. Booker T, I thought, well, okay, he is being biased, but I thought when it came to African Americans, he would, like, build them up like that. Not, and to me, it's like he, I'm going to do him on a separate day, but he's also a tear downer. But to me, I just want everybody to understand Corey Graves is very nasty, and sometimes some of the comments he does say about black wrestlers, to me, it might sound a little, hmm, yeah, okay, and I just, in the, I just, just wish WWE just tell him, hey, you need to stop playing favorites, okay, like, let me, like, Carmella is still the uh, Raw, uh, SmackDown's champion. And stuff. He um praises her. That I, her, he's like giving her props and everything. You beat the um uh, phenomenal queen. You dethroned uh Charlotte Flair. Da 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 da. And he went on his rampage and he started dissing Charlotte Flair. I just want y'all opinion on this. But when Nia Jax won, he called Nia, trying to say Nia Jax is a bully and stuff like that. To me, you are no in no shape of, you are in no shape to get in a ring with these women or men wrestlers, Corey Graves. And the question of the day is, and the question of the day is a double question. So the first question is, do y'all think Corey Graves got homosity that he can't wrestle no more? Or, and then the second thing, do you think Corey Graves play 
favorites when it comes to certain certain wrestlers he commentates against. Okay, y'all. All right. It's time to get this. It's time to get this popping. It's time to get this conversation popping. So let me hear from you. Until then, I'm Alicia Barton. Don't forget to thumbs up this video, comment below, and subscribe to my channel. Bye.